This video is made possible by North Naperville Autos. If you're looking for a quality used car in the Chicagoland area, North Naperville Autos is here to help. Browse their inventory at NorthNaperVilleAutos.com and drive home in a new vehicle today. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 1999 BMW M3 convertible. Up front is a 3.2 liter straight six and down below is a five speed automatic transmission. Now I'm super excited to be driving this here M3 for a couple of reasons. First of all, I've never reviewed an E36 M3 on the channel here before. This is called an E36, that's the chassis code, which lasted from 1992 to 1999, so this is the last year of it. But arguably, this is the least desirable combination of the M3, where it's a convertible and it's an automatic, but it's still an M3 nevertheless. I have Vader seats. Does that mean anything to you BMW guys anymore? Ah, anyway. Let's get back to that 3.2 liter S52 straight six. Well, this is just for the M3 and the Z3M, of which I actually reviewed not too long ago in the same exact paint color as well. I love the S52. I think it's a fantastic engine. And what I always loved about M3s, because I have driven a hardtop manual E36 M3 before. I did not film it for the channel, but I drove it in my personal life. And what I love about them is that they rev so smooth and it feels like they will just keep on going. They feel like a rotary engine where they don't get choked at the top end. Most cars, when you floor it, it's power, 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 and then it's getting to the ceiling and it's me, 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 me. You don't get that with the S52. You don't get that with M3s and Z3Ms, which is very, very nice and very interesting and makes the car feel so much more powerful than it actually is. Power numbers are up on the screen. Again, nothing too crazy, especially by modern standards. However, it was definitely a good punch for the 1990s. Now, Getting on to the automatic transmission. In most of my videos, I say, you know what? It's an automatic. I wish it were a manual. That's fine. This needs to be a manual. This automatic transmission is really choking the S52. It will not let it rev all the way out. It's not letting me have as much fun as I know this car is capable of having, which is a downright shame. So if you are a true enthusiast, and you'd like to get all you can out of your M3 E36, please seek out a manual. Last but not least, of course, the M3 is rear wheel drive, and this also gets the upgraded subframe from BMW over the regular E36 3 Series. The E36 3 Series is notorious for having rear subframe issues, but the M3s don't have nearly the issue that the regular non-M cars had. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have the typical BMW gauge, is I really like the look of them. They're very easy to read, very easy to see. And on the far left, I have my fuel, then my speedometer, then my tachometer and coolant temperature off to the right, as well as I get the traditional MPG gauge from BMW. I think this is funny. I think it's kind of gimmicky, but it's here. On the steering wheel, I don't actually have any buttons. I do have a cruise control stalk that's attached to the steering column, but I don't actually have any buttons on the steering wheel, and I absolutely love that. This is a driver's car. I don't want things bothering my steering wheel. To the left of me, I have a vent as well as my headlight switches and fog light switches. And on the door, I just have my power mirror adjustments and my speakers. I have two speakers on the door, which is very nice. Moving into the center, I have the iconic E36 giant center vent. In any movie, TV show, or anything where it shows the interior of a car, the second I see that vent, I know that they're in a 90s 3 Series BMW. Very, very iconic for this car. And then I have the radio itself. I do have a BMW business cassette where the E46 got a business CD. This gets a business cassette with Dolby noise reduction. AM, FM, my different favorites and things of that nature, as well as I have my climate controls directly below that. Then I have an information center, which is very, very interesting. I have consume, which is telling me my MPGs. I have temperature, my speed, average speed, distance. I can run a check, it checks all the controls. My range, 103 miles, a mile per hour limit, a timer, and I can set it between kilometers and miles. 
I also have a clock, date, set, reset, and voice memo. So I get this really nice little control panel, very typical of 90s BMW. There's a couple of models that got this feature and the M3 is one of them. Then I have a cubby and down on the center console, I have a cigarette lighter slash 12 volt outlet, my power top options, and my traction control button. Then I have the shifter itself and honestly, the shifter looks pretty cheap. It is very typical of 90s BMW to do a shifter like this. However, it has not aged that gracefully. It looks like something I would find and a Chevy Cavalier. But next to it, I do have some drive mode options for sport, manual, and economy, S, E, and M. And then this is where I'll find my power window options as well as the central locking. Finishing off the center console, I do have a hazard switch and then a cup holder. So we'll do a big friggin' bottle test. And of course, to be expected, the big friggin' bottle did not fit here in the BMW M3. <laughs> Before we get on with the rest of the review, I wanna give a huge thank you to Fixed. Fixed is a Bluetooth OBD2 sensor for your car. You can plug it into any OBD2 vehicle, which is a vehicle manufactured after 1996, and you can take a look at your gauges, you can keep an eye on your temperature, you can see your speed, you can time your zero to 60. There's tons of really cool features that will pair directly to your smartphone, and it gives you great insight on your vehicles. Fixed is giving my viewers a hefty discount, so click the link in the description below, get your own Fixed OBD2 to Bluetooth sensor and start learning more about your car. Then I have some coin holders, an ashtray, and a second cup holder, which equally does not fit the big friggin' bottle. I don't actually get a storage bin here in the center, which I would have liked and is found in 99% of other cars, but that's okay. Moving on to the seats, these are Vader seats, which are, from what I'm told, relatively sought after for BMW owners. They are very comfortable. They have the BMW striping on them and overall they're not too bad. However, I do have back seats. So let's go do a back seat review. Unlike the Z3 that I reviewed, this actually has back seats. So let's climb on back. It was real mad I left the lights on. Yeah, these are definitely, if you need them, back seats. I mean, the, the, the passenger here could move up, but with my driving position, I don't really fit behind myself. I do have an ashtray back here, which is kind of nice. The M stripes on the seats carry on back here. That's a nice feature. And I get some speakers. I imagine with the drop top down, unfortunately it is raining today. Of course, the one day I have this car, it is raining, so I can't drop the top, but I imagine a drop top back here would actually be very, very fun. Again, I wanna say that this would be a very fun cruiser, but I think that automatic transmission really takes away from this car. And so I would recommend getting a manual and then that, that is a fun in the sun cruiser car. All right, so we're on the back of the E36 M3. And there's the trunk. Not much space because it is a convertible. You lose a lot of this top room and it has a very shallow floor. Honestly, not that big of a space, unfortunately. So not very practical here back here, but that's okay. What I do get and what the Z3 was missing is the toolkit. Let's see if over the years, how many tools have been stolen and not put back. <gasps> Almost all of them, almost all of them are here. You can see it actually says BMW on them, which is really, really cool. And they all have their own little spot. You have a 12, a 13, a 10, and an eight. Your tow hook, this you will not see again, my friends. This is really cool. Heiko BMW. This is the stuff you don't find in these cars anymore. And the nice thing about this car being such low mileage is the fact that it still has all this stuff. There we go. Screw it back in. Love that. One of the coolest features of 90s BMWs. Now we got to talk about the looks. I love the look of this BMW. I love this blue color. Like I said, that Z3 M that I drove was in the same paint code and I absolutely love it. I think it's a very interesting color, very 90s color, but very interesting color. And you guys know I'm all about the interesting colors. But now let's talk about the E36 M3 as a whole. I finally got to review one. I finally got to show one here on camera. After years of driving them, I finally have one to film. And I love this car. I really, really do. I could see myself for sure owning 
an E36M at some point in my life if I ever have the money and room. I love the way that they rev. I love the way that they drive. I really do like the way that they look when they're done properly, and I'm really happy with this car. The issue comes with the community and with their age. This is not a young car anymore. This car is 22 years old. It's getting harder and harder and harder to find good examples of this car. Even so, this car is about 73,000 miles and it needs a couple of things addressed. Pristine M3s from this era won't exist in the near future. They just won't. And so I'm so incredibly happy and thankful to be driving this car right now because I don't know how much longer one of these will exist. I don't know how many more opportunities I'll have to drive a good, solid, high quality M3 E36. And that's a shame because this car is great, but time and the community have not and will not be nice to this car. What a shame. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to North Naperville Autos. This is one of their vehicles. They do offer financing. They are Carfax certified, as well as they're now offering warranties, which is absolutely awesome. So head on over to North Naperville Autos. Their information is up on the screen and drive home in this here M3. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe. We really like to take care, guys.